Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain you the joiner transformation. Okay, using Informatica. So how does the joiner transformation works? That we are going to see in this session. First of all, what is join? 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 Joining? Joining a table. You know, right? So there are different joins are there. When I pull out, I mean, outer join, inner join, uh, normal join. So you should be aware of these uh, concepts for learning the joiner transformation. Okay. So here. So in this session, so I'm going to consider two. Uh, source tables from uh, different sources like this is my EMP table which is the flat file and this is my department table which is the database table uh, under SQL Server 2000 okay so here I'm going to join employee table okay which is a flat file and department table which is from SQL Server 2000 so these two tables will be joined using department ID and load the records into the target table okay right so so we are going to join the, these two tables and uh, load them into target table okay so how can we achieve this i will show you using informatica okay so here you can see i will show you first what is our source files so this is my first source file which is a flat file text file okay this is emp table employee id first name last name email phone number hire date zip and department id okay and other source is this is my second source which one departments departments is my second source this is my the second source table okay and tgt underscore emp is a target table which is empty now we are going to join this table with the table of flat file and load the records into the target table along with the department name okay now go to designer power center designer and go to source analyzer now i'm going to import the source definitions of both the tables okay one is flat file that means import from file and select all file types now click on emp so this uh, flat file text file is a fixed width file okay and we are going to import import the definitions which means the column names that means import field names from first line check this box and click on next so i'm going to mm, break the columns to define the width of each column okay so pick here this is my first column width second column width third column width fourth column so that way define all the way width of all the columns Now I have completed defining width of each column. Click next. So you can see all the definitions of each column here. Right? So but the high date is the date type data type is text, but we need to change it to so change the high date format to date time. Right? So it's change date time format. Now click finish. So it's imported the source definition from the fat file. Right now I have one more source which is sitting under database. So import from database, provide the credentials, connect it to the SQL server tables. So departments is other table, source table. Click OK. So it sees my definition, source table definition of other table okay so now we need to here i have defined the department id as a primary key 
but he, that means this department id in this table is a foreign key right and employee id is my primary key so because the data is imported from flat file you cannot define the primary key and uh, foreign key in the mm, text file right so now i am going to define the keys here so employee id is my primary key and department id is my foreign key so this department id is coming from primary table departments right and the column is department id click apply and click ok right so you see here now my primary and foreign key is all defined in fact file also and also one more thing we need to change the data in format here because in notepad the data in format showed his Y Y Y Y M M M D D and hours, minutes, seconds and milliseconds. So I need to change the way which is represented under Informatica. So changing click here. Now I am going to change the format as Y Y Y Y M M D D hours, minutes, seconds dot milliseconds right click ok apply ok so done ok so now target we need to import the target definition so my target definition oh it's already here ok so let me delete this target definition ok Okay, so now I'm going to import the target here from database. Connect to the database. So my target name database in data table is TGT underscore EMP. Click OK. So now import again. Import from database. Connect it. Okay, this is my target table tgt underscore emp click ok so this is my target definition so i have imported target definition now we have completed uh, importing all the definitions of source and target now go to mappings we need to create a mapping now okay to perform joiner transformation so now now So now I'm creating mapping. So now just drag the source definition and drop it into mapping designer. Okay. So it's going to ask you to name the mapping joiner underscore DMP underscore DPT. Okay. Click OK. So this is my source definition which I have imported in designer and now we have another source which is departments right so just import the departments also source definition here now we need to join these two tables so for that we have to use the transformation join a transformation click on transformation create transformation and select join a transformation now name the join transformation GPT. create it Okay, it's created now this is my join transformation right so now you have to select all the columns from the source and map them with the join transformation and also you need to map the columns of second table to the join transformation right so now we need to set the properties of joiner transformation 
first go to ports okay here generally joiner transformation i'll explain you how does this join join works joins works okay so normal join works in this way how uh, you should you should know there are two concepts like master source and detail source here in generally while performing joining we generally consider the table which contains less records as a master source and the more records as a detail source why because whenever we perform a join joining join then it takes the record from the master source let's say 10 records so first it takes first record and see if the department id of the department table matches with any of the 1000 records okay it keeps on checks the 1000 records if let's say department id of 30th record matched then it throws the output that way second again it takes the second record in second record let's say department id is 50 and it checks for the department id of 1000 records let's say it matches multiple records it pulls those records and gives as an output okay that way it the iteration goes for the 10 records okay let's say if i take the emp as my master source what happens it has to go through thousand iterations because it has to take each record from the emp thousand times and compare with the dpt right so which is not good practice that's why we consider the master source as a table which contains less records okay you got it right so now in the same way we are going to consider the table so these are all the first first 1 to 8 columns are related to emp table and 9 10 columns are related to departments so that's why this is my master table port okay you can select which table should be selected as a master table just if, if you click on this you see these are all departments related columns if i click on here so it takes the emp as a master source now i'm selecting departments as a master source right now come to properties we are selecting normal join here join type and conditions now you need to add the condition what is our condition here the department id of the department table master table should be equivalent to the equal to the department id i of a detail source which is emp right then now click apply click okay so we have completed defining the properties of joiner transformation now where is our target so you need to map the target definition here okay this is my target so i drag the target and now right click on here and auto link so it's going to populate which table you need to uh, auto link so i'm selecting the target table so it's linked automatically all the columns <coughs> from joiner definition right so by this a completed mapping so you save this mapping okay so there are no errors <coughs> the mapping is successfully <coughs> completed that means here we are joining these two columns using joiner transformation and loading the records into target table right <coughs> then <coughs> now you need to create workflow for this mapping click on workflow icon and create a new workflow and name it as joiner underscore emp underscore dpt okay click okay oh, it already exists I don't think okay we have not uh, saved the workflow okay click okay and yeah now i'm creating new workflow click okay so this is my start point now you need to associate the mapping whatever you created here <coughs> to this workflow how can you map select the session drop here it's going to ask you to associate the map this is my new mapping 
click OK. Okay, now link the mapping with starting point. Done. Now you need to set all the properties of mappings. So here, these two are my sources. Okay, this is my new uh, source which is coming from flat file, right? So that means you need to provide the path of the flat file here. So this is my wrong path. Okay. So this is my file. This is my path. Copy the path and paste the path here. So then now set file properties. Go to advanced properties because the flat file is line sequential file format, right? Each record is in different line. Line by line the record is increasing, right? So that's why line sequential format. Click OK. OK. So it's done. So no need to change other values. Go to other source. This is my SQL source, right? So now select the connection. Whatever we established in previous sessions. OK. I've selected. So no need to change other values. Go to targets. Now here this target also same. SQL Server connection. Now change the load type as normal. Here I am going to define a pre-SQL. What delete from tgt underscore em because before performing transformation it's going to delete the records if any records present under the target. Okay. It just deletes all the records before performing transformation, right? So I have defined that. So by this we have completed defining all the properties. Now click apply, click OK. So now save the workflow. And now <coughs> I am going to run the workflow because before running the workflow again I am showing you the tables. The target table contains zero records. Right now we are going to join the departments table with the EMP table of flat file right and load them into the target table <coughs> this is my target table now right click on this and start task so now it's going to open the monitor workflow monitor where you can monitor all the values here you see you see 5 records from the department and 6 records are there but the loaded records are 5 5 records are being loaded into the target so what is other record the one record which is missing we will see so now go to server now retrieve again the tables see now the target table contains the 5 records right what is this 6th record which is missing let me see here Srikanth Reddy, which is having, I mean, he is having the department ID as 7. That means that 7 department ID is not exist under departments, right? That's why that record is not joined and loaded into the target table, right? So, by this, <coughs> we have completed the joiner transformation. Hope everyone understood the concept of joiner transformation so this transformation is very important now in the real real life and real time okay thank you all